They could have programmed me to love, to forgive, but no. Fallout New Vegas is a large and varied game, with something for just about everyone to do. However, one of the most defining features is the vast number of weapons available to be used in combat. While the base game has no shortage of these, the list can still leave some players wanting, which is where the downloadable content packs come in. It's within the DLC that some truly unique weapons can be found, both for their usefulness and simple collectability. Here, one of the most unique packs and weapons found within is the subject of interest, dead money. So without further ado, let's get to that list of guns. To start things off, this first gun is also one of the best in the entirety of the game, even with all DLC considered, the Hollow Rifle. This energy arm boasts a moderately high damage rating and good durability. However, its spread is less impressive than most energy weapons, and its magazine or battery only holds a mere four charges before needing a reload. Though the magazine size isn't much of a problem, given that it's like an energy version of a pump-action shotgun. All of this considered, it's still a well-rounded weapon, especially in the resource-strapped locale of the Sierra Madre. What's more, though, is how it can be significantly improved with three separate upgrades. These weapon mods are bought from the Madre's strange vending machines, but you have to find codes before they'll be offered for purchase. The first of these upgrades improves the Hollow Rifle's accuracy, and is located in Puesta del Sol South, the part of the map where Dean goes during the quest Strike of the Band. The Hollow Tape is in the central tower, or the highest building in the area which you can reach. The second upgrade improves durability, and the tape for it is located in the switching station, the same place Christine goes for the quest Mixed Signals. It is specifically sitting on a control panel next to a remote access terminal and an elevator. The last upgrade disc significantly increases the damage of the hollow rifle, and is found in the bell tower. It and another hollow tape are pretty hard to miss, as the bell tower is tiny, and you're led right to it during the quest Trigger the Galaga event. Finding all of these mods may be a bit of a runaround, but you can take solace in knowing that the Hollow Rifle is a good gun on its own, even without the upgrades. Which is great, especially since you don't even have to work to get the gun, because you start off with it when you arrive at the Sierra Madre. However, if an energy gun isn't your style, other guns are available. The natural alternative to any energy weapon is a good old lead-spitting rifle, or in this case, the automatic rifle. Though it's not a unique weapon, the automatic rifle is one of the few guns in the entirety of New Vegas that's fully automatic. Granted, it has fairly low damage per shot, but as with any automatic rifle, its high rate of fire offsets that low value. The automatic rifle has quite a few cons to its few pros, though. It's relatively fragile, has a very high bullet spread, making it extremely inaccurate, and worse yet, fires the fairly rare and expensive 308 round. All of this considered, the automatic rifle is really at its best when used as a panic weapon, like a sort of close-ranged buzzsaw for ripping enemies to shreds in tight scrapes. But even used that way, the arm is undermined again with another bad stat, its relatively small magazine. Regardless of the shortcomings of this gun, it's nonetheless valuable, and can be found in several locations. The easiest spot to find the automatic rifle is in the police station, a place that the main quest leads you to. There is a bit of a catch, though. The gun is located in the contraband lockup, which requires a level 75 science skill and a successful hacking job to access. If that's too much to ask, though, there is a second copy of the gun in a loot stash on the rooftops in the villa area. It can be accessed via a gift shop just to the east of the fountain and the main square. Moving on, there's another weapon that's a fair bit more reliable and found all over the Sierra Madre, the police pistol. This weapon is an improved version of the 357 Magnum from the Mojave. It's more durable, uses less AP and VATS, does more damage, and inflicts significantly more critical damage as well. Overall, it's a very modest gun, which can be found in many places, and occasionally as random loot. Most prominently, though, police pistols are found in very high concentration at, you guessed it, the police station, as they randomly spawn in many of the containers inside. 
closing up the list of weapons from Dead Money is probably the most fun and unique arm added by the DLC, the Gas Bomb. This explosive device is basically a makeshift incendiary proximity mine. What makes it extra special, though, is how it can be crafted with the right parts at a workbench, making it a fun toy to play with whether you're at the Sierra Madre or not. Composed of duct tape, a pilot light, scrap electronics, a sensor module, and requiring a level 40 explosive skill, the gas bomb is fairly easy and cheap to make. It doesn't deal phenomenal damage, though, not even as much as a standard frag mine, but that doesn't stop it from being surprisingly useful and fun. On a trailing note, though, gas bombs can also be picked up off of relatively rare ghost seekers, who use them as a standard weapon. There aren't many more weapons introduced by the Dead Money DLC for Fallout New Vegas, and the ones mentioned here are really the best of what's available. While they may seem unimpressive under most circumstances, you have to remember that going to the Sierra Madre is about challenging your skill at survival, combat, and adaptability. Thus, being able to find overpowered superweapons naturally doesn't fit within that context. If you're still wanting for more impressive arms, though, then don't worry, as there are plenty more out in the Mojave Wasteland, as well as in the other three story-based DLC packs for Fallout New Vegas. Thanks for watching and listening. I'm William Strife, and I'll see you later.